I'm Ms. Alder. I'm a librarian at the main library of the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. And today I'm here to do a science project with you. It's really fun, really easy, and a little bit messy. So make sure you have a grown up help you if you're doing this at home. So first we need our supplies. For this project, we're going to use salt. And I put my salt in a little container so I don't use too much. And I have a spoon to sprinkle it with. You need paint. I'm using watercolor paint. And I have paint brushes and some extra water. You need a block of ice. And that's what I have in this container. I put this container full of water in my freezer last night and I put a lid on it so it wouldn't spill. And then today I have this big block of ice. You could do this in a bowl if you want to at your house. And I have a container to put my ice in. Don't worry if you don't have a container. You can do this project outside or you could even do it in the kitchen sink. So to start, I'm going to dump my ice into my container. Like that. Ooh, and it's a little melty, so it's sliding around. And now I'm going to sprinkle salt on my ice. Okay. And at first nothing happens, but pretty soon the salt helps the ice to melt. The reason that happens is salt helps the freezing point of water get lower. So it makes the ice melt faster than it would just being out in the air. And that's why road crews put salt out on the street when it's winter time, so the streets don't get icy. I'm sprinkling some more salt on here and it's starting to melt a little bit. I'm gonna do it on the other side. So, and I'm gonna have a big lump. We'll see if the big lump does something different than the part I just sprinkled or the part that doesn't have much on it. This is kind of an experiment, so we have to do different things in different parts to see how it changes. And now I'm going to drip some paint onto my eyes. I like to do this with liquid watercolors, but I didn't have any today. So I'm using regular watercolors. And if I touch the, the salt, I'm gonna make sure I rinse off my paintbrush so I don't get salt back in my paint container. All right, so this is starting to be cool. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna tilt this up to show you. You can see kind of a spider web effect where the salt uh, melted the ice a little bit more. All those individual grains of salt made individual little spots of the ice melt. Now you can keep doing this project, adding a little bit of salt, adding a little bit of paint over and over again. And you'll notice as your project continues that things will look more and more different. So this green paint I'm adding you see how it followed the trail of the salt? So a little bit of time has passed and my ice has started to change. There's a big hollow spot where the big lump of ice is. So I'm gonna add more color so we can see what's gonna happen. So that yellow is following that trail even more. I'll show you what that did too. You can even try mixing colors. I wonder if I add some yellow right on top of the blue, if it will turn green. Let's see. Ooh, it did. Look at that. All right. So we can keep adding salt and adding color until this whole block of ice has melted away. And as you go, see if you can notice 
how it changes over time. All right, that's it for our project today. I hope you try this at home and I hope you have fun. I'll see you again next time.